you want to get into streaming or any form of content creation, then having great sound quality is extremely important. A decent mic that sounds professional will leave just as good, if not more of an impression on your viewers as anything else in your setup. Can the GV60 streaming mic from MSI get you there? Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome to Kit Guru. As I mentioned in the intro just now, today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and my full review of the Immerse GV60 streaming mic from MSI. It's a condenser microphone with selectable pickup patterns, 96 kilohertz sample rate, 24 bit audio bit rate, a frequency response range of 20 to 20,000 hertz, and a headphone output for latency free monitoring. The GV60 has a retail price of £99.99p, which puts it up against some very tough competition. It's certainly got all the specs on paper to make it a decent choice for your streaming setup, but the real life performance is really what matters. So let's have a look at it and a listen to it and find out if it delivers. So I'll kick things off with an unboxing and a look at the design of the GV60. The box is nothing out of the ordinary. It's got some details on the features I mentioned on the back and sides, plus a picture of the mic on the front. It's pretty run of the mill stuff. Inside the outer box is another much more plain box, like a Russian doll made out of cardboard. Within that inner box, you'll find the microphone, which is protected really well by some high quality foam. There's also a desk stand that you can see in front of me that can be used if you don't plan on sticking the microphone on a boom arm. The included USB-A to USB-C cable for connecting it to your PC is a generous 3 meters long. I like that they included a long cable as it won't restrict where you place your mic and should be able to work in even the largest of setups. Then finally there's a few extras like the foam windscreen which was disappointingly crammed into the bottom of the box when I opened it and was really misshapen, but it sorted itself out now it's been out a bit. There are some small rubber grommets which are used to cap off the screw holes, which do become exposed when you take the mic off of its desk stand to mount it to a boom arm. And lastly, there's the quick start guide, which feels more like a manual, but only due to the fact that it contains instructions in 27 different languages there's about three pages per language. It's When you first take it out, it's like, wow, that's a big manual, but you only get three pages in your chosen language. So the design of the GV60 is quite traditional as far as streaming mics go. It's got an all metal construction with the bottom two thirds having a powder coated black slash grayish finish that does shimmer slightly when light hits it at the right angle. It looks really classy in my opinion. Then up top, the microphone grille is finished in a contrasting grey colour. This difference in colour gives the GV60 an overall sleek look that wouldn't look out of place in any one that's going for a bit of a minimal setup. Along the front of the GV60 are the controls for changing the pickup pattern, with four options available to choose from. They are stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid and bidirectional. We'll cover what they sound like later in the video, but the controls are all along the front of the mic. Then below that, there are volume dials for the headphone monitoring and the microphone gain, as well as a mute slash unmute toggle switch. On the bottom of the mic, there are ports for connecting it to your PC with the included USB cable, plugging in headphones to monitor the mic's output directly, and then finally a mounting thread for attaching the mic to a boom arm if you want to. The included windscreen fits easily over the grill if you want to install it. Again, we'll have a listen to the mic with and without it in the sound test section of the video later on. Now, overall, I really like the design of the GV60. It's very sleek looking and the powder coated finish feels really smooth to the touch. I like the way it shimmers in the light and sometimes takes on a greyish hue. I'm glad MSI chose to go without any RGB as I don't think it's needed on a microphone and I much prefer the professional look in the design that they went with. The GV60 is a pretty hefty mic. It weighs 1.1 kilograms and is 270 millimeters tall. Most boom arms should be able to handle this sort of weight with ease, but it's something to bear in mind if you're looking to mount this to your desk with a boom arm. Just check the maximum weight limit of the boom arm that you're gonna stick it on. The build quality on offer from MSI here in this microphone is excellent. The mic feels very well made and has that reassuring weight to it that I've mentioned in previous reviews. 
It feels solid and like it was built to last. Obviously only time will tell on that one, but in the month or so that I've been using it for, I've never had any concerns about the build quality at all. The dials and buttons on the front of the mic have a very, very minimal amount of play or movement, and they do feel great when you adjust them. The included cable is quite thin and could be a bit better in my opinion though. This won't cause you any problems if you set up the mic on its desk stand and don't move it around too much, but if you do plan on sticking it on a boom arm, which will be moved around and rotated back and forth a lot, then I have got a bit of a worry that the thinness of that cable will wear out over time. Nothing's happened during my time with it and when I've been testing it, but it's something that I felt that I needed to point out, the cable's quite thin. But overall, I'm very impressed with the build quality of this microphone. It's rock solid. Apart from that small niggle with the cable, I can't full MSI on the actual mic itself. Now comes the make or break part of the review. How does the GV60 perform in its various different setups and configurations compared to some other USB condenser mics? Now, I'm not going to hear the results until I edit this video. So leave your thoughts in the comments section down below and I'll let you know my thoughts after the comparisons. Okay guys, so we've moved over into a typical sort of streaming setup to do a sound test of the MSI GV60 streaming mic. At the minute the microphone is set on its cardioid pickup pattern with the gain at around 50%. I'm going to leave that as it is, that gain, throughout the duration of the sound test. We're going to move through the different pickup patterns and I'll do a bit of a sound test on each one to show you how it rejects off-axis sound. We'll also look at how it rejects knocks and taps while it's on a boom arm and then we're going to look at the performance with and without the included windscreen and then finally we'll do a comparison with some other microphones so you can hear the difference and I just want to mention there is no software for this microphone so all of the customization is done with the controls that you can find on the front of it let's dive into it and look at those different pickup patterns so this is the MSI GV60 and how it sounds in its stereo pickup pattern. The gain is still set to 50% exactly the same as it was a second ago and if I move round to the left your right, my left, and my right, your left of the microphone, you'll hear how that sound quality changes as the microphone tries to pick up my voice from different angles, unlike omnidirectional, which we'll move into now. So this is the GV60 in its omnidirectional pickup pattern, which you shouldn't notice any difference if I move around to the left and the right of the microphone, as omnidirectional will pick up sound from all around the microphone in every angle. This is the MSI GV60 in its cardioid pickup pattern, which is probably going to be the most popular among any streamers out there. This will try and pick up sound from in front of the microphone and reject it from everywhere else. So if I move around again, you should hear the clarity in my voice dropping. And finally, this is the MSI GV60 in its bi-directional pickup pattern. This is useful for podcasts and interviews and stuff like that, as it will pick up audio from in front and behind of the capsule. So this should sound exactly the same. The gain's still the same. If I turn the microphone round, you shouldn't notice any difference now I'm behind the microphone. So if you want to pick this up for podcasts, it'll be useful for that as well, as well as streaming and just generally chatting with your mates. Now let's move on and look at how this performs on a boom arm with and without the foam filter and how it rejects knocks and bangs and stuff like that. So now we've got the GV60 on a boom arm and I just want to do a quick test of how it rejects knocks and bumps and stuff like that. So I'm just going to tap on the boom arm a couple of times and we'll hear what comes through. We're just going to move it around a bit as well just this is what you would do if you were using it on a boom arm and this is in its cardioid pickup pattern as that's the one that's going to be used by streamers when it's in this sort of situation then we're going to do a quick test of the included foam filter so this is the cardioid pickup pattern with the gain at 50 percent without the filter installed as you can see and this is that same pickup pattern, same gain, with that foam filter installed. Obviously the microphone's much closer to my mouth than it was for the previous test, so I may be a bit louder or a bit clearer, as microphone placement is often the key thing for making any mic sound better. 
So now finally to finish the video off, we're going to do a quick comparison between the MSI GV60 and some other microphones that I've got to hand. So this is the MSI GV60, this is Matt for Kit Guru, this is the microphone in its cardioid pickup pattern with the gain still at 50%. How do you think this sounds? Let us know in the comments below. So this is the incredibly popular Elgato Wave 3 USB microphone. This is Again, on the boom arm with the gain of 50%. How do you think this sounds when compared to the MSI GV60? Let us know in the comments down below. And this is the NZXT, or for you Americans out there, the NZXT capsule USB microphone. Again, let us know which one do you think sounds best so far. Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, this is the Razer Siren Emote USB microphone. So how do you think this one sounds compared to the MSI GV60? And how, which one do you think is the best? I'm going to jump back over to the MSI mic now and give you my thoughts on the sound quality. So in conclusion then, I think this mic definitely holds its own and it's versatile enough with the pickup patterns that it's got to be used in a variety of different situations. I do think it performs better with the included, it's kind of a windshield, kind of acts like a pop filter as well to remove some of the plosive sounds that over pronunciation of P's and T's and stuff like that. So the, I'd definitely use this if I was going to use this microphone as my daily driver for streaming and content creation. But the sound quality comes through crisp clear there's a nice amount of bass you can always add some stuff or take some stuff away in post-production if you wanted to uh, but all in all i think this microphone performs really well against the competition it outperformed the razor microphone by quite a way and it went toe to toe with the elgato which is a really popular mic so i'm really pleased with the sound quality of this microphone and i'd be happy to recommend it so overall my thoughts on the gv60 mic are really quite positive it's built like a tank. It performs relatively well. It's quite a versatile mic with the selection of pickup patterns on offer, making it suitable for more than just a streaming environment. It'll suit podcasts, music recording, or just chatting with your mates on Discord perfectly fine. The design is really sleek and it looks like quite the professional grade microphone in my opinion. As it's a condenser mic, it'll always be much more sensitive than a dynamic mic like the immensely popular Shure SM7B, but that sensitivity can be reined in with the help of filters, or it might be something you're looking for. If you want a mic that can pick up your voice from quite a, a distance away, then a condenser mic is what you're after. If you're looking to take the step up from a headset mic and want to put out great sounding audio in your content, then definitely give this mic a look. You could do a lot, lot worse, to be honest. And that's the end of the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to Kit Guru to keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews. There's links in the video description to our merch store, Patreon, and our Discord server if you want to check any of that out. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt. This has been the MSI GV60 streaming mic. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.